we're starting off this morning with a freeze warning. This is for Tuesday morning. Now we do have a frost advisory in effect for this morning until about nine o'clock. That means due to that uh, little bit of humidity in the air and the cold temperatures, we're talking frost on the pumpkins, but no pumpkins yet because they haven't grown. Anyway, the freeze warning for tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the area shaded in blue, pretty much all the Snake River Plain. If you do have some sensitive temperature sensitive plants that you've maybe got to try to get a head start and get them in the ground, might want to go get them out of the ground. Best thing to do is get those starters, those pots that you can bring in outside, put them back out during the day. Anyway, this is just for tomorrow morning. As we take a look in through our weather window, we're taking a look at downtown Jackson. This is Jackson Town Square. Looking pretty good. Just some clouds off on the horizon there, as you can see. Some clouds in through Pocatello right now. Sun's up 33 degrees. Light winds about three miles per hour. 34 degrees in through Idaho Falls with a light wind as well. And then in through the Jackson area, 25 degrees. Degrees, light wind about three miles per hour. Temperature tracker starting off in the 30s on the very cold Monday morning. 39 degrees out at the site, 37 for Mud Lake, New Boys, 26 for Ashton, 30 for Alpine. We're looking at 35 in through American Falls as we zoom out through the Central Mountains. 34 for Chalice, 39 for Salmon, Haley, 34, Island Park, 30, Driggs, 22, Afton, 30. Same for Soda Springs and Malad third, uh, City starting off the day at 38 degrees. So your winds for today, not much of a factor for today so at least the cold temperatures that we have won't feel like really cold biting cold as we expect single digits to low double digit wind speeds through much of the day today and into tonight and weather tracker right now we're taking a look at some radar radar activity in through the Arco Desert in between Arco and Burley just some light rain falling a little bit of rain snow mix not too bad though making its way in through the interstate area as we zoom out getting some light showers in through the panhandle as well stretching from Coeur d'Alene down to Moscow and Lewiston so forecast for today partly to mostly cloudy skies in through the Snake River Plain today with daytime highs in the middle 50s. Then in through the Teton area, we do have mostly cloudy skies for much of the day today. And we do have a chance of some showers developing later on this afternoon and into this evening with the daytime highs only in the middle to upper 40s. Then through the Central Mountains, mostly cloudy conditions. Daytime highs in the 40s for Ledor, Stanley, Arco, Mackey, 50s for Chalice and Salmon. And then as we move to the overnight hours, we do have a chance of some rain and thunderstorms developing overnight tonight in through the Central Mountains. Overnight lows expected to be in the 20s and 30s. And in through the Teton area, clear skies. That means our lows are going to drop down to at or a little bit below the freezing mark. 28 below at Afton, 32 Jackson, 32 Island Park. Then in through the Snake River Plain, clear skies, low temperatures. That means that freeze warning in effect from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock Tuesday morning with daytime or overnight lows expected to be at or just a little bit below the freezing mark. Then a warming trend begins. That's the good news, taking us into the 60s tomorrow. Quite comfortable. 70 by midweek, almost 80 degrees by Thursday. We do have a chance of some showers developing on Friday. Blackfoot cloudy conditions for the next few days into the 60s and 70s, approaching the 80 degree mark by Thursday and Friday with overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. Idaho Falls also getting in on that warming trend. 65 the high tomorrow, 73 by Wednesday, 80 by Thursday. A bit breezy though, but clouds for much of the week and into the weekend. Rexburg also talking clouds. 62 the high tomorrow, 70 the high on Wednesday, 77 the high on Thursday, and in through the Teton area, we're looking for cloudy skies. T uh, daytime highs getting into the 50s and 60s. Chances of some thunderstorms developing Saturday evening. Deanne? 